One, two, three, four. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, are the best of friends. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, fun that never ends. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, just like salt and pepper. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, have their fun one night. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. A different story. Hey, come out. It's great outside. Not right now. I want to read. I'm almost done. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, fine. I'll just wait until you're done. So, how close to done is almost done? Huh? A little. Hooray! Mm. Uh. Done? Listen. I really want to finish this chapter. Here, you can read this. <sighs> but reading's not exciting. I won't take too long. B is for the what the sheep says. This thing has too many words. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys up to? We're sitting the wrong way on this bench. It's more fun this way. We're upside down. That looks fun. <laughs> Let me try. Okay, I'm sitting the wrong way. Now what? Uh, oh, I'm gonna read this book I found. I wanna read too. Get it! Edward, you can't read. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just make up my own story. With the pictures. Let's try it. So we have a sheep. Maybe he's a greedy sheep who steals a watermelon and makes his getaway in a helicopter. As he soars past the mountains to escape, he sees trees and, I don't know, mushrooms. And then he wanted to eat those too, but he crash landed onto a hedgehog and uh, it caused a massive fire. A fireman bug, who was very nice, came to put out the fire and save the hedgehog. What about the sheep? Hope the sheep is okay. I'm sure he was. The sheep was fine because a turkey came to rescue him. Yeah! And the fruit? They cooked it into a nice cake. Watermelon doesn't make a cake. Sure it can. Huh. Well, that story's good. Now I'll make one. It's the story of a very handsome gentle sheep who just wanted a nice haircut. He thought watermelon would make his curly wool straight, but it didn't work. So, his best friend, Mr. Helicopter, brought him some lovely tea made of mushrooms. But the magic tea only turned the sheep into a hedgehog. That's ridiculous. What? Let me try this. Oh, it's an elephant. The elephant decided to steal this cake. But it was his neighbor's cake. He tried to fish it out of his neighbor's yard, but it was so heavy. The rod broke and he fell into a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's a terrible story. Uh, huh? You scared me. What's wrong? This book says awful things about elephants. We are not cake stealers. I don't... Uh, what? There, you see? The elephant wants this cake, so he tries to steal it with his fishing rod. Then he falls in the fountain. Everyone laughed at him. You know what I think? That's not the story at all. It actually seems like the elephant saves the day. Hmm? He rescues a little boy from the fountain. The <gasps> boy was fishing but fell headfirst into the fountain when... Give me that. The hero elephant was rewarded with a big cake. <laughs> the elephant saved the day and got cake. Yeah! <laughs> what other books you got? After that story, I want more, more, more. Funny things are all around. Sometimes things are upside down. Hey, Tina, want to come out? Not yet. I've got to finish this page. And in reflection on the sea, another, another ship, ship for you, you and, and me. me. <laughs> Sleepy time troubles. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. 
Some joke I heard today? No. How about a snack? I still have some leftover milk here. I don't want milk. What I want is to go to sleep. So good night. I know how you can fall asleep real quick. Count imaginary elephants. Once you get to 103, you'll snooze. You count them? How? Easy. One. Two, three. Oh, that's not working. Counting won't help me sleep. Don't want to count elephants or billy goats or even wiggly worms. I've got it. I'll count tiny little hippopotamuses. One, two, um, three. Mm. Huh? <laughs> Not for you. Fuzzy bug! Hey, did you just wave at me? Hi, 
Hi to you too, Buzzy Bug. And there we have it, the first contact between a bug and an elephant. So dance! With the Buzzy Bug dance. Give us some music. Take a video. Here comes our Buzzy Bug walking along. Look how joyful she is today. Happy as a bug. Now she's climbing a stalk. A very tall one. She's on the top already. Looking all around. Grabs her wings. And starts circling in the air. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Tina? Dancing, Tony. Feel free to join in. I'm no dancer, huh? Tina. If bugs can do it, then so can you. Now we need to make sure everyone knows about the bugs. Tina's in. Tony, too! to introduce my new friend, Buzzy Bug. She taught me a really cute dance. <laughs> Get ready. There are bugs in every bush. There are bugs in every bush. And their feelers go whoosh whoosh. And their feelers go whoosh whoosh. Climb a stop to catch a glance. Climb a stop to catch a glance. Of their dance, the Buzzy Dance. Of their dance, the Buzzy Dance. Watch them whirl. Tony? It's great, Tina. It was actually quite easy. Huh? Huh? Oh. There are bugs in every bush. Wow! Yeah! What a dance! That was fun! Thank you! <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank her. The buzzy bug. Just because you don't notice someone doesn't mean they're boring. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Even bugs have something to teach us. That's right. Bye bye, 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 bye. A loud sign. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Soon we'll have a lovely fancy park here. Yo ho! Yo ho! Our park. <laughs> what park? We don't understand. Yeah, we're pirates from far away seas. Uh, even pirates should know that it's bad to hurt plants, and messing up the path and knocking benches over is wrong. Oh, we just didn't know. How are we supposed to know? We didn't know. Yo ho, yo ho. Maybe they really didn't know. Is that so? We need to fix that. <sighs> what are those? Yeah, we don't understand. Not allowed signs. So you'll definitely know what you're not allowed to do. It would be better if we didn't know what 
that's not allowed. Then it would be a surprise. Really makes you want to do something. Something not allowed. And Mouse's drawings make you want to do it even more. Huh? Huh? Mouse, what's this picture you drew? I didn't draw that. It was... Yo, yo, yo. It was the piglets. Yo -ho! I didn't see any don't draw signs. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot prettier now, too. <laughs> Now we have to draw the signs all over again. That's 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 huh? Yo ho! Mouse, Tony and I can draw them if you want. Right, Tony? Tina's in. Tony too. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tony. That would be a huge help. Do you need any red paint? Nope. We'll be okay without it. What are those? Ta-da! Allowed signs. What's that? Stuff you can do? Yeah, you can smooth out the paths. What else are we allowed to do? You're allowed to plant trees. But are you allowed to not plant them? You're allowed to not plant them. You can think of more things you can do instead. Look, you're allowed to draw. You sure can. to do the right thing. Well then, let's go do some right things. <laughs> Looks like we'll have a lovely, fancy park here after all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the best story ever. I'll tell it! No, I'll tell it. Sign up for the Storyteller Contest. The prize is a blueberry pie. <gasps> Yum! A pie! <sighs> Let's tell it all together! Rabbit registered! Next! I also, you know, want to tell a story. Great! I'll register you as a participant. Sorry, Penguin, I didn't catch that. What did you want? He wants to take part in the competition, too. Right, Penguin? All right, but what language will you be telling your story in? Nobody will understand you, huh? He will participate with an interpreter. And who is the interpreter? Me. Tina, you don't speak penguin. Big deal. I'll learn. It's easy. I think... I'll just imagine that I'm a penguin. And I'll understand penguin right away. Um, what? The best way to learn a foreign language is in your sleep. What? Your words do not fit in my head. I have to jump a bit so they can settle in there. That's the story. Our next storyteller is Penguin. Interpreted by Tina.
interpreting. It's all clear. Tina, don't interpret. We understand everything as it is. And then what happens? Everybody understands it. It was you who taught everybody, Tina. It turns out a friend can always be understood, even if he speaks penguin. The most important thing is to listen. And the prize for the best story goes to... Penguin! I mean, the prize goes to... Penguin and Tina! Alarm clock! I'm done with huh? the scooter. Tony, this is more important than the scooter. Come on! But Tina, I can't just put one thing aside and start on something else. Well, you can at least try. I do it all the time. So? What's it say? That you should go for a stroll while I'm working. Come on, Tony. Time is going backwards. That's nice. I'll get more done that way. Oh, Tony, why are you behaving so childishly? And there we go. So, where's this alarm clock of yours? Oh! <laughs> Alarm clock! <laughs> <laughs> Careful 
with things, Tina. Then they'll keep doing what they're supposed to do. I'm sorry, Alarm Clock. I won't ever drop you again. I'll look after you and feed you tasty tidbits. <laughs> thing is ghosts. Oh, guess there is. We saw one. With our own eyes. Uh, have you seen Tina? Maybe the ghosts have already caught her. <gasps> caught Tina? I'll show them. that ghost on my own. Sure thing, Tina. We can catch anyone and anything when we're together. When Tony's in, Tina, Tina is too! The <laughs> <laughs> Karumpkin. I just love soda. Pour a bit more water and jam in, Tony. Let's make loads. Enough for everyone. We shouldn't, Tina. We'll mess up the recipe, and we won't know how much fizz to add. Oh, forget the recipe. Let's add a bit more. As Rabbit always says, 
experiments are the engine of science. Experiment number 25, a fast-growing carrot pumpkin hybrid. I shall call this vegetable the Great Karumkin. The Karumkin shall glorify its creator, me! Behold, the Karumkin seed. Grow big and strong, Karumkin! Experiment? Oops. <laughs> Would you look at that? That thing sure goes fast. <laughs> Hi, Piglets. We have soda. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? It's our playground. It grew all by itself. Huh? It's the Great huh? Karumkin! A carrot pumpkin hybrid. Let's make a Karumkin pie soon. No, uh -huh. you can't. It's our slide. So there. <laughs> ah! oh. Help! Save me! <laughs> ah! Oh no! It's going to break our house! See? This is what happens when you experiment. Uh. It's going to keep growing! What do we do? What do we do? We harvest it. Come on! Pull! <laughs> All together now! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something different. <laughs> As a very clever man once said, Give me a place to stand, and I shall move the Karumpkin! We need a lever. Stay with me for a while. Tony? Yes, Tina? Remember how that bottle flew around the room? The experiment that didn't work out? A jet engine! Will you help me make it? Of course I will! Tony's in. Tina, too. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, better not to experiment. Not at all. Without experiments, we'd never have pulled up that karumpkin. <laughs> like a dream. Hold up. You wouldn't go and leave us. I've always wanted to join the circus. Performing isn't my cup of tea. Huh. And every performer needs their own flavor. Hmm. Don't forget luck. I don't have any of that. All I have is a dream. We can help you with that. Yeah, we'll all help you out. Have you tried balancing on a ball? Oh, 
What's up with him? La la la, la 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 la. Audiences go wild for hoops. Everyone loves hoops. Give me that. I can do it. Let me try. <laughs> Envision it spinning in your head first. Imagination is a powerful tool. La la la, la la la, la la la. Not only must a performer dress to impress, but what makes you great huh? is what sets you apart. Something only you have. I can make music with my trunk. Watch. Were you calling me? <sighs> no, not quite. I'm honing my talents. What do you think my unique features are? Well, all of you is unique, but especially your ears. You do have large ears, but it'd be even better if they were wings. That could work. to see the gravity-defying elephant. She flies only using her giant ears. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you should be a clown. <laughs> That's your talent. A clown, huh? Okay. Yep. You finally came. special. I bet she'll be world famous. Yes, our friend truly is talented in so many ways. But she's my best friend. And if she joins the circus, I'll miss her. Ladies and gentlemen, put your paws together for Tina. Abra Alakazam! Uh -huh. Behold! This! I'll be really sad to see you leave. Good thing you don't have to, in that case. Wait, huh? I'm staying here with you guys. We can just have our own circus here. And we'll never leave. To find a mushroom. Tina, it's raining really weird. Come look. <laughs> How can it be raining? It's sunny outside. Dunno, but look, the rain makes the mushrooms so glad. They grow extra fast when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Hooray! We're going to pick mushrooms today. my basket first with the most beautiful mushrooms I can find.
Mushrooms will be this hard. I thought I'd be super good at it. Don't feel down. Remember, there's still one thing you do better than anyone. What? <laughs> 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 at making everybody happy. <laughs> the wolf. Tony, Tina, you haven't seen a wolf, have you? There are no wolves in Cookie Village. See now, there are no wolves. Huh? Who are you talking to? Felicia. Hello, what are you doing in there? I'm frightened. She's frightened of everything. Storms are scary, the dark is scary, and now this wolf is scary, too. <laughs> a wolf! Go on, Rabbit. You do what needs doing, and we'll deal with the wolf. So where's this wolf, then? <laughs> wolf, where oh. are you? Wolf? He's in the tree! <laughs> hmm, yes. A tricky case. This calls for extraordinary measures. When Tony is in, Tina too. Tina, give me your hand. It's a wolf trap. If the wolf turns up, he's definitely going to want to eat the sheep. But the sheep are wooden. The wolf will break his teeth on them and run away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great! See, Felicia? Now I've got nothing to fear from the wolf. Let's go home. Yay! Oh no! The sheep! Five and six and seven and eight. The sheep! If you want to grow up big and strong, eat carrot pudding and you won't go wrong. One, here. two, uh -huh. three, I'm here. four, yes. five, That's six, Over here. seven. Felicia! Tony! 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 Felicia! Felicia's gone! Felicia! 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 She's nowhere to be found! But what if the 
there's a wolf in Cookie Village. There's no wolf, Rabbit, remember? Let's go. <laughs> there she is. Over there. Felicia, we're coming. Don't be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. What are you doing here? Go on, have your supper and off to bed. I can't. I'm watching over the sheep. If that wolf comes for them, he'll get it from me. Whoa. I don't think she'll leave without the sheep. Uh, I should have made the sheep from straw. Uh, they wouldn't be so heavy then. She fell asleep by herself, and in a storm like this. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tina. You've taught Felicia to be brave. You've got the sheep to thank for that, not us. Felicia was so afraid for them that she became brave. Good night, you two. Rabbit, could we stay the night with you? It's just such a terrible storm. <laughs> <laughs> The Snowflake Maker Wintry, wintry, winter <sighs> This is one heavy sled Sledding? Snow? Hooray! There's snow? Aww. No Foxy, no snow so far <clears throat> Maybe the snow decided to take a vacation ah. in Africa or it forgot about us. <laughs> or it got stuck somewhere on the way. Stuck? Huh? Somebody help! I'm stuck! Hear that? That's the snow! Quick, let's go! That's not the snow, Tina. Mm. Little rabbit! Help! My letter! What kind of letter is this? It's for the snowflake maker in the sky, so he'll make us some snow. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's how come we don't have snow. It's the snowflake maker's fault. I bet the snowflake maker has already designed a thousand million snowflakes for all these winters, and now he's run out of inspiration. Well, we have plenty of inspiration. We can share. Huh? We're going to send the snowflake maker a whole letter full of inspiration. And he'll send us back snow! Ta-da! Aha! Oh, I know how. Let me! Check my snowflake out. Well, check this one out. Aww. There's snow coming out of your chimney. That's because we're writing a letter. To the snowflake maker. To inspire him. You can write two if you want. To help him make more snow. <laughs> Sweet! Whoa, no way! That's great! Our letter got pretty long. Mr. Mail Rabbit. That's me. Please mail our letter to the Snowflake Maker. It's on its way. Dear Snowflake Maker, please make us a lot of snow. Look! It's 
on being director. The performance will be tomorrow. Hooray! Can I play the leading role? I've always dreamed of being a star. Of course you can, Foxy. You'll be the goat. <laughs> Here are your lines. Oh, wow. That's a lot of lines to learn. Big parts mean a lot of lines. Uh -huh. Big lips. Oh, there you are. You'll be the Billy Goat. Hooray! Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't huh? look like me at all. My oh. eyes are much bigger than that. And what sort of a dress is this? It's your costume. It's not quite lived up to my dream somehow. Hmm. Tina, can huh? I be a princess? A goat princess? Now there's huh? an interesting idea. I mean just a princess. Once upon a time, there was a princess who had two children. One day she went to a ball and her children stayed at home. Okay, I'll rewrite the whole thing. Hey, we need another costume huh? and another poster. Wow. Uh, well, huh. take these. You aren't Billy Goats anymore. You're... What? What? Ministers? Huh? <gasps> la, la, la. Here's a new role, Foxy. Start learning huh? it. We need to rehearse. Great. But first, I need to learn how to wear a crown. Okay, let's begin. Oh, beautiful princess, what is your wish? Stop! Why am I in the corner of the stage? I'm a princess. I should be in the limelight. Okay, Foxy. And go. Oh, beautiful princess, what is your wish? What was my wish again? I didn't get around to learning my lines. I was too busy curling my princess hair. I want snowdrops. Hmm. I want snowdrops. Oh! Uh, Foxy! Huh? Foxy! Come out! We've got your crown! I'm not coming out! The wind's messing up my princess hair! But what can we do? Wait for the wind to die down. Okay, okay then. doing? The wind's gone. I don't really feel like acting anymore. Me neither. I want to go home to bed. I'm tired as well. Sorry. Uh -oh. oh, well. Looks like I didn't get to be a star. Uh. No, I suppose not. <gasps> Foxy, maybe you can be a star after all. You'll be above the stage, right here, up above everybody else. I like it. What will I do? You'll shine. I like that. Are there a lot of lines to learn? We can make do without any at all. Oh, <laughs> now I really like that. Okay. <laughs> Tony, wait! Oh. Don't go anywhere! <laughs> you need to rewrite the play just one more time. Tony, wait! I can explain everything. Okay, then. Tell me your plan. Hmm. <laughs> Our show is about to begin. In the leading roles, the piglets and our star, Foxy! <laughs> I'm a jolly gnome who loves taking the starlight stroll! Hi there, jolly gnome! Let's take a walk together! <laughs> oh, you! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Get me down from here! I thought being a star would be fun! It turns out stars are always lonely. You're right. It's kind of boring. Tina, do you think I could go back to playing a princess? Or even a goat, maybe? Of course you can, Foxy. Tony's already written a new play. That's right, about a little bandit. Really? 
I've always wanted to play a bandit. I'll even learn my lines. First of all, though, I'd better learn how to shoot arrows from the phone. Mm -hmm. The schedule. Ooh, ooh! Tony, come here. There's something in here. Mm, not now, Tina. I'm reading a great book here. Ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh! No, no. <laughs> hmm. I'm so sleepy, Tony. You should go to bed earlier, Tina. How can I if all the cooler stuff starts in the evening? You have to create a schedule and do the cooler stuff in the morning. How do I do that? Okay, I'm getting up, so I'm done sleeping. One, morning exercise. Two, shower. Three, breakfast. Four, cleaning. Five, swimming. Six, lunch. Seven, wash the dishes. Eight, work around the house. Nine, afternoon snack. Ten, evening walk. Eleven, dinner. Twelve, bedtime. That's kind of boring. I'll have my own schedule. Tony, write this down. Breakfast, heroic deeds, lunch, adventure, dinner, dreaming, and sleep. Well done. We're going to stick to our routine. Now it's time for cleaning. For you, it's cleaning time. For me, it's time for heroic deeds. Let's get started. When Tony's in... Tina is, too. Cleaning is kind of heroic, too. I don't want to do it, but I'm doing it. So, how is that not heroic? <laughs> huh? Hey, rabbits! Do any of you need a hero? Is everything okay in there? Okay, then. I don't want to be sweeping either, but I will. Is it heroic? It is. Just a few more heroics and I can have a swim. Hi, Mouse! I'm out here doing heroic deeds. Do you need a hero? Not at all? Okay, then. Guess I'm not going to finish my schedule. Not like Tony. Aha! There's a heroic deed. Hip all overboard! Elephant to the rescue! <laughs> Tony! You saved me! Turns out you've done a heroic deed, and I haven't! Don't worry, Tina. The day has only just begun. What does it have in store for us next? Lunch! Time for adventure. I have to wash the dishes. Cleaning the dishes is an adventure, too. Lathering and rinsing. And most importantly, it's over quickly. There! Do you know if there are any adventures around here? Okay, then. There. I've finished everything. Now it's time for my evening walk. Ooh! said I was meant to be adventuring, not doing heroic deeds. <laughs> Don't worry. It's me who had an adventure. I didn't do any of the things on my schedule. Let's make a new schedule tomorrow for both of us with heroic deeds. And with cleaning. We have to clean, too. Now it's dream time. What shall we dream about, Tony? Let's dream about what heroic deeds we'll do tomorrow. Okay. <sighs> Secrets and surprises. Now you can look, huh? What is that? A tree? Not just a tree, Tina. A secret compartment. We can put our toys or anything into here, and it's our little secret. That's all? Yup. Tony, you need help coming up with a good surprise. Uh, Come on, I have an oh. idea. <laughs> Says secret. 
Ten points for me! Secret! Secret! Whoa! Whoa. Let's go see! I want to know the secret! <laughs> I bet it's treasure! I want it first! Quick, this way! To the left! I can't wait! I'm so excited! I carry a way to get it! Now which way do we go? The right or left? Oh, there! Okay, that way! Go! <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely aliens. Whoa, there's the alien secret. Whoa, what do we do now? We open it. Come, oh. Oh. we do it together. Secret open. That's, That's it. it. found the alien secret. But did we, though? It's just our old toy train. True, but the aliens for sure put it there. They were giving it back to us. Whoa! <gasps> Spring cleaning. You want to play, Tina? Uh. spring cleaning today. See? Whoa! Oh. Hey! Hey! My ball! Uh, how am I supposed to find my ball in that pile of stuff? That's why we do spring cleaning. And then we'll find your ball. That looks a lot like a pile of garbage. Nonsense. Everything here is extremely useful. This just looks like a broken brush. Toss it. I'll fix it. Hmm. Ba, ba, ba. Right. This just became a pencil. It's a hairbrush, or instead you use it as a drawing pencil. Hey, I recognize these, but from a long time ago. Those belong to our snowman. Huh? If only you didn't melt. Uh-huh. 
Once it snows, we'll use it again. Hey, look. This one's got to be trash, isn't it? How can you say such a thing? It's the control deck for my extra awesome spaceship. All set. Engines on. And lift off. We're entering the Elephant Nebula. That's mine. It's a broken soup pot. Soup will just spill right out. But you can plant a flower in it. See, look. Uh, uh, uh. How about this broken chair? You can't sit on it. Nope. This one's trash. Huh? Leave my favorite riding horse alone. That one stinks. Ha-ha! Woo! Let's go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think our horses are tired out. You can take a nap. There! And we're almost done with our cleaning. Well, what else is there left to clean? This old blanket. Let me see that. Tony, this isn't just any old blanket. This is the top of my little cottage. This house will protect us if it rains or snows outside. Hmm. Hold on. Won't we have to do spring cleaning huh? for two houses now? How about this old sweater? Look, it's got a great big hole. I've had that sweater for a long time. I wore it back when I was small, and I'm talking baby small. See these milk stains? Ugh. Ah, babyhood, those were simpler times. But Tina, you're more grown up now. So what? Doesn't mean I still can't wear it. Huh? My ball! Woohoo-hoo! Yeah! Okay, what do we still have left to clean? Let's do it! <laughs> Just the super outdated paper. <sighs> well, I guess we can throw that away then. Put that in the garbage, Tony. <laughs> Four, three or four, five or 
six, who marches for cake? What? Anyone? Foxy, come out! We've got a cake for breakfast! I'm not coming, Tina. Why? I have nothing to wear. Can't get into my dresses. Have you grown? That's great! Our unscientific experiment has proved that children grow because of junk food, too! They do, but only in whips! <laughs> What's wrong? She got bigger, not smaller. I don't understand this, Fox. Hey, little piglets! Who wants to have dinner with me? Sweet! Unhealthy food! Sorry, Tina. We have toothache. And a round. We are going to see the mouse! To, to get, get treatment! treatment. Oh. What's happening? Are we giving up and that's it? And who will eat the cake, I wonder? Well, I guess I could do it by myself. Hi, Tina. Do you want candy? Uh, hi, Tony. I brought this for you. Here. Uh, well, I can't eat any more candy. Hmm, unwrap it then. Carrot! No, Tony. Carrot is healthy. We don't eat anything like this. Do you want some cake? No, thank you. Me neither. But elephants never give up. Tina, what's wrong with you? My stomach aches. Ugh. To the mouth. Now. Breakfast is ready. <gasps> Porridge. Rice. Hooray! Hooray! My favorite! <laughs> What's for lunch? Cabbage soup with fresh cabbage. And broccoli. Cabbage soup! Broccoli! Who wants seconds? Me! <sighs> I love healthy food. Black and white fever. Hmm. 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 Oh, uh, no, no, no. Tony, let's go play. We have a wonderful day ahead of us. I'm already playing a game of chess with Rabbit. Hmm. It's my turn now. Tony, why are you and Rabbit playing chess? It's boring, and playing with a ball is fun. I disagree, Tina. Chess is a tactical game. It teaches you to think two steps ahead. One, two. But why, Tony? To become clever, Tina. All right, you become clever, Tony. I'll wait. It's only been 30 seconds. Tony, you're uh. so clever. Counted all that time just like that. Now we can go outside. Uh, uh, Come uh. on! One, two, three, four. Rook to D5. The king is under threat. Retreating to D8. How many was that, Tony? Uh, who's here? Your turn. But if then rabbit, uh, just checkmate for me. Tony, what's wrong with you? Tina, I'm losing to Rabbit. Huh. Tony, you need a snack. What a wonderful day. And look at these toasts. These ones have cheese on them. And these ones have strawberry jam. Boo. Queen to B2. That's it. Tony, how could you do that? Huh? I put in so much effort for you. I've been trying all day, and this is what you do? Only thinking about rabbit? Sorry, Tina. I need to make this move. Fine then, Tony. It will just be my wonderful day.
must. Yes. <laughs> Even a wonderful day isn't happy when you're alone. <sighs> wow, chess land. I always dreamed about it. Whoa. Surrounded! <laughs> Check, Tony! I will defend myself. You lost your queen. You have no one to defend you. No one to play with. You are alone. What do you mean alone? <laughs> I will save you, Tony! No! Tina is no longer playing with you. He's too clever now! Ah, ah. Who's there? It's me. Tina? I'll be a chess partner if you want. I'll even learn the rules if you want. But let's play together, okay? <sighs> even if it's chess. Tina, I'm so happy to see you. Let's play whatever you want to play. <laughs> hmm. Even with the ball? Even with the ball. It'll be fun. Let's go. We're going to have a wonderful day. Tony, now you've definitely become clever. I'll go first with the ball. Tina is in. Tony, too. <laughs> Ten, eleven, twelve. High school. Yeah. Making a circus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this goes here. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Tony. You doing magic? That's not it. I'm an animal tamer. <laughs> okay. Where are they? Well, I don't really have any, so I pretend. That huh? won't work. You need the real thing. Let's oh. go! <sighs> Candy is impossible to resist for any animal. But, uh, I don't think there are wild animals here. <laughs> You wouldn't know, because you've never caught one. Huh? Quick, hide! What? That was fast! <laughs> huh? Hey! Oh, man. What's with you? This isn't very nice. I've got an idea. Do you want to be in the circus with us? Huh? You have to jump through a hoop that might be on fire. Through a hoop and with weights? What do you mean, weights? You need a strong man, no? But I'm a tamer, so, um... Well, uh... <laughs> there goes that. You don't need him. There's plenty other options. We'll catch a real scary predator. And he'll jump through the hoops. As long as they don't mind. <laughs> huh? <gasps> oh, no. Let me out of here. I gotta go tend to my garden. Sorry. Do you want to be in the circus with us? Yeah. Tony will be the tamer, and you'll be the beast. <sighs> Do it? Huh? We can be untamed animals. <sighs> you guys aren't wild animals. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Huh? <laughs> 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 Should have 
seen that coming. But there's still hope. Elephants make a great circus performer. Huh? Alley -oop. Uh, uh. This isn't working. Nobody wants to play circus. Just one more try. What's that? What's all that racket? Tell me it's not an earthquake! <laughs> Ladies and gentle pigs, come on down to the Animal Circus Extravaganza! <laughs> You don't by chance need a straw man, do you? And a magician? And beasts? Well behave! You'll take everyone! <laughs> Superpowers! One time, a friend set off for the mountains to find an ancient place that held superpowers. They arrived at a mysterious cave. Now they're superheroes! Tony! We need to become superheroes! But, Tina! No buts! Hm. The world needs our heroic deeds! Hmm. Super Tony! Super Tina! Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> and super flight! Super jump! Hmm. Huh? <sighs> that wasn't very super. Aha! Aha! Tony, where are you going? To do heroic deeds? <laughs> To the superpower cave. Are you with me? Huh. Of course. Tony's in. Tina, too. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I sure am. That's Captain Penguin getting space shipwrecked. <laughs> Super Tina to the rescue. Oh. Tina, wait! The spaceship is moving too fast! We can't stop it without superpowers! Hold on one second, Penguin! Soon we'll be superheroes, and then we'll come help you! Yeah, on our way back! Hey, who's that, Tina? That's a giant alien, Tony! Hi there! Who's that? Tina? Tony? Is that you? Can't you see us? No, I'm closing my eyes. I'm afraid of heights. Help, help me get down, B -b -b please. Bear weighs a lot. We can't do it without superpowers. Hold on one second, Bear. Soon we'll be superheroes, and then we'll come help you. Yeah, on our way back. Okay, I'll just wait. Now, where is that? I think... <gasps> Tina? I'm here! I'm flying! Actually, I think I got caught. I mean, catch! Don't move. I'll uncatch you. I mean, detach you. Won't be able to without superpowers. <gasps> I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> I was just scared for you. You know what that means? We already found our superpower. It's our friendship. The Tina Tony team. <laughs> Open your eyes. You're on the ground, Bear. Thank you. You two are real superheroes. <laughs> Wanna join our team? But I don't have any superpowers. Sure you do. You just don't know yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who here needs help? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
to be superheroes. Before? Huh? Neither have I. That's weird. Achoo! Whoa. What on earth is this? It's a map. A key, too. Do you think that Granny left us a treasure? I think we should just put it back. Anyway, it's probably all dusty. No oh. way, Tony. Can't pass up a treasure. Wonder what kind of treasure it is. Maybe a magic wand? <sighs> I'm pretty sure wands aren't real. Look, I see a rope bridge. Will that rope bridge even hold us? Only one way to find out. Wait, we shouldn't cross that. You know what we should do instead? Go and play checkers. Don't be scared. Oh, hey, Tony, this thing is rocking. Oh, this was a bad idea. Hang on, okay? Why would I not hang on? Thanks, Tony. Oh, this isn't so bad. We're okay. Let's go. I'm getting kind of hungry now. Yeah, me too. Ooh, what if the treasure is a magic picnic blanket? We'll just say abracadabra, and the tea and cookies will magically appear. Why would we need that? A backpack works fine. And abracadabra, here's your tea. Ah. Here, donuts too. Tony, it's you who has the magic. X marks the spot, and this is the spot. All right. Oh man, we forgot to bring a shovel. What will we do now? Wow, Tony, you plan for everything. I'll go and dig it up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. It's a flying carpet. We'll hop right on and be home in a split second. What are those things? Looks like money. Except it's weird. I don't think it'll buy us ice cream. I guess this treasure's useless, huh? Well, not quite. I bet we can use these. Give you one guess how. Still would have liked the magic carpet. I can't believe it. You won. That's the first game I've ever won. Since these things really are magical checker pieces. I guess they are. Thanks a lot, Granny. One thing at a time. In you go. Whoa. Oops, mm -hmm. sorry. Hi, Tina. What's that smell? Hi. These? I felt like baking today. Jam tarts. You're busy? Aww. We wanted you to come play soccer with us. Soccer? Let's go. But the oven! Nah, the tarts will be fine. See? 40-minute time. That's plenty of time. Ugh. Oh, my way! way. <laughs> hey, Tony. Ugh. What's that? Giant ladder for. Ugh. Hey there, I'm getting apples. Mmm, that sounds great. Ugh. I want some. 
Come along if you want. I need someone to hold the ladder. Right behind you. <laughs> Tina! Hang on, wait! Our game's not done! I'll be back in no time. Plus, I'll bring apples for everyone. How's that sound? Apples! I want a bunch! Just hurry up! Back in a chip. All right! Let's keep playing! Oh man, she took the ball! This is fun. All these apples will be good in a pie. Which reminds me... Oh, uh, the tarts! Oh, oh, oh. Come back! <sighs> oh, Tina. <sighs> Why did I say I could go play ball? <gasps> ball! They're still out there! Where is Tina? <sighs> there you are! We waited so long! Did you bring our ball back? Apples? Apples! The ball! <gasps> Tony! Tina, where are you going? <sighs> hey, uh, Tony! Up here. Hmm? Oh, dear. I'm stuck. The dangers of apple picking, I guess. Uh, don't worry, Tony. Uh, uh, mm. uh, I'll uh, get another one. First, let me pick some of these up for the piglets. The piglets! Uh. Huh? Oh, it's five already? They're still out there now? Tina, we've been here all day, waiting for you. And you took our ball away. And you said you'd bring apples. Uh, apples? I, I have those. Uh, wait here. <laughs> apples, apples, apples. Tony! Tony, I'm coming. Hang on. Hi, Tina. Did you bring the ladder? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, where are you going? What about soccer? How can we play soccer without a ball, Tina? I'll bring it real soon! Don't bother! It's time for dinner. <sighs> Tony! Ah! Oh. Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's been with you today? You're all over the place. Well, first my baking went wrong, then the apple. So much to do, and this ladder, I felt so overwhelmed. You can't do everything at once. Focus on one thing at a time. You'll get everything done. <laughs> nice. Hey! <laughs> Come play soccer! Yay! <coughs> huh? You guys go on. We're having jam tarts. Would you like some? We also have tea. I would. I love jam tarts. Yay! <laughs> this is good. Two <laughs> Wow, where are you going? To the river! To watch the crabs! Wow, we! I'll come with you! Tony? Tina? Which path leads us to the river then? This, this one. one! And which one is better? This, this one, one is, is better. better! Mine is better because it's shorter! Mine is more interesting! So which should we take? Both! Exactly, Tina! That's the only way we'll know which path is better. See you at the river. I want to 
wonder, how far is Tina? Friends, we need to go. Goodbye, old tree. Clouds await me. Wow, poetry. Tina, you are a poet. That one's a ship sailing by. That's a carrot. And that's a carrot. And another one. I'm hungry. That cloud looks a bit like Tina. Tony, look what I can do. <clears throat> She's been gone a long time. <laughs> I see mushrooms. <laughs> We're not picking these. We'll fly around them. Tina! <laughs> oh no! Tony is waiting for us. Pilots, on the river! <laughs> Tony? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'd like some berries, too. And the Twitwoo Echo! So we'll go back along your path. Looks like it's better, Tina. Looks like all paths are good paths, Tony. Together is best! <laughs> <laughs> Tinnison and Saturday lived there for a hundred years. Okay, maybe 20 or so. Eventually, a ship came and rescued Tinnison. Wow, we should go on an adventure just like he did. We're not near the ocean. But we're near the woods. We'll pretend sail there. This whole place can be our ocean. Full steam ahead. Uh, uh, uh. Keep going. Oh, goodness. We ran upon shore. We're sinking. Mm. Goodbye. We'll swim. Come on. Huh? Ah! Reef sharks. Every mammal for themselves. <laughs> But we can't. We're trapped on this desert island. We'll, we'll find them. them! That sounds dumb. We'll find our own island. An even more deserted one. one! Ah, oh dear. The sharks are gone, but... It looks like we're stuck on this island with no hope of rescue. I'm getting hungry. Then come. We need to forage. 
Morning, Tina. Want some berries? Yeah. No, Tina. Don't trust uh -huh. him. Huh? It's just uh -huh. a trick. Those berries are poison. He's probably a pirate. Who? Uh, what? You pirate, leave. You guys are mean. Oh, it's starting to rain. Time to build a home. <laughs> If we're going to make it on this island, we've got no time for play or dancing. But this is a game, right? If you want to play games, go find the piglets. Fine, I will. Go right ahead. <sighs> <sighs> My first night in the wilderness. It seems I shall spend many years here all alone. All by myself, no one here to guide me. What's that? I hear voices. Hello? I'm on my way. <laughs> Tony's all by himself. Hey, it's a hippo floating at sea. Hey, over there, swim this way. Over here, Tony. Ah. Come on, we have food. Come to our super extra fun, undeserted island. It's way more fun to be stranded with all your friends. And we have food. Raspberries, it's deliciousness. Why, thank you. And sorry for earlier today. I got carried away. Don't worry about it. Water under the bridge. We can all play island. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Tina. A deserted island is only fun when all your friends are there, too. The Calendar Express. All done. I got it. You are super duper fast, Tony. There's no way Santa Claus will sneak past you. You'll definitely get his picture. Except that I have to wait a whole entire month. Really? A whole month? Tony, your calendar must be slow. Ta -da! This one says a month, too. That's awful. Hmm. What's wrong, friends? We're looking for a different calendar, a short one. To make Christmas get here faster. Ah, I have one like that. Here you go. Let's see. Look at all those days. Whoa, a door. There's something in here. Mm, numbers. I wonder what's in the other doors. Tony, how about we open all of them? Tina, wait. This says challenge for December 1st. Build a snow fort. Well, okay, Tony. We don't have anything else to do before Christmas anyway. Let's build a fort, and then we can open the other doors afterward. <laughs> so quick. I didn't even notice. Today must have been a special day. A short one. Come on, Tony. Let's open some doors. Where should we start? Let's do them in order. Ooh, tinsel. Is there anything else in it? Decorate your yards for Christmas. They're right, Tina. We haven't decorated it all yet. Santa Claus won't be happy about that. Well, okay, but let's make it quick. Boy, is today over already? It looks like it. Tony, let's hurry up and go to bed so we can get to tomorrow. There are so many doors waiting. Whoa! The final door! 
I guess the wait is over. Hurry up and open it, Tony. We still have to finish today's challenge in time. Wait for Santa Claus. Wait. <laughs> Tony, did you set up the camera? Hmm. Will you be able to get Santa's picture? I sure did. I definitely won't let him get away. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Wow! <sighs> Look, Tony, a whole entire railroad. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Tina! Oh, I miss Santa Claus. Now I have to wait another year. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas! What's that? There are new challenges! A whole year of them! Time flies when you're having fun! Let's see. Aha! Take a selfie with the snowman! With the snowman? A selfie! Are you coming, Tony? Tina's in. Tony, too! How to rescue rescuers. There's a hole here. Watch out, Tina! Uh -huh. Tina, are you okay? The cat's falling into a trap. See, Tony? I see. You need to watch where you're going, Tina. But can I rescue the cat if I'm looking where I'm going? And who's going to rescue you while you're rescuing the cat? Don't worry, Tony. Rescuers don't need rescuing. I'll do it myself. Come here, birdie. a lot of cats? Not one. So, you just stay quiet. Leave this to the professionals. This is it! 
It's the trap on the tree. Only now it's real. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Shall we rescue the bird, Tina? <laughs> Rescuers forward. Tony's in. Tina's too. are better than one. Right, Birdie? Huh? Oh. Getting colder. Colder. Very, very cold. You're super cold. Getting a little warmer. Wow, Tony, come look. Isn't this tree just beautiful? <laughs> All right, I won. Found the ball. The tree isn't so beautiful anymore. I have an idea. All done. Our tree certainly has personality now. <laughs> its clothes are gone. Huh? Oh no, the tree is shivering from the cold. It needs to dress warm. I'm all out. That's all I have, too. <laughs> now our tree can stay warm. <laughs> You two should know better going out dressed like that. When the temperature drops, you always need to dress warmly. But we did it to <coughs> save the tree. The tree doesn't need clothes. It loses leaves on purpose to survive. I'm confused. Listen, the tree needs to shed its leaves for the winter before it snows. Otherwise, snow weighs it down. But right now it's naked. How does it not freeze? <coughs> It's fine. You could say it. Where's a snow coat? <laughs> Ten points for me. Got you. <laughs> hey, check it out. It's wearing a coat after all. One that's made of snowy stuff. Seems pretty toasty. Well, I'm jealous. I'm cold. If the tree is warm, maybe we can get warm the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tina, do you feel, feel warmer yet? Not yet. How about you? Yeah, not quite. Let's keep trying for a bit. I'm sick. A snow coat's not as warm as the tree made it look. I feel completely frozen. What's good for one thing is not for something else. Your tree is just fine. Think of it as a sleep. It'll wake up real soon. I didn't know trees sleep. <gasps> Tony, come quick. <sighs> Spring is finally here. <laughs> Still naked, though. Why? Oh, no. You think he did freeze after all? If he did, he's probably sick. And who do we call when we're sick? I know. Doctor! <laughs> okay, where's the patient? Right here. Oh, uh, the street. Well? Still cold, still cold, warmer, warmer, getting super warm. Tina, look! Our tree! It's incredible! It was hiding its own surprises for us. 
Maybe he wanted to play with us. Warm or cold? <laughs> <laughs> Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony. <laughs> the collection. Hey, Tony! Tony, look! I've learned to make whistles! Ah! 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 Ow! Uh, Tina! What are you doing? I'm getting the stamp off this letter for my collection. Ooh, nice! I'm gonna start a collection, too. So, what should I collect? I've got it! I'm going to collect pretty stones! Here's one, and another, and another! Interesting color! Unusual shape! Whoa! That's a big one! The centerpiece of my collection! Look how big my collection's got, Tony! Maybe you should collect something less heavy. You're right, Tony. I'm going to collect. I'm going to collect. I'm going to collect feathers. <laughs> Where are all the feathers? And the birds have disappeared off somewhere, too. Maybe they're hiding. Birdies, where are He's a bird, too, after all. Penguin! Penguin! It's me! Tina! Stop! Whoa! Penguin, I don't suppose you have any feathers going spare. You know, being a bird. And there wasn't a single bird except Penguin, and you just try getting feathers off him. Yes. I think you should collect something less rare. Huh? Can you collect keys? You can collect anything you want. Brilliant! I'll have a key collection in no time. But Tina, it's not about speed. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Keys, where are you? Oh, I found one. Why didn't I think of that sooner? I need to be looking for Keys next to houses. One, two, three, four. One more and I'll have as many Keys as Tony has stamps. <gasps> I have a key too. There, I need to tell Tony that I've caught up with him. <laughs> Tony! Tony! I have five keys in my collection now! Come on! I'll show you! Just a minute, Tina. I'll just drop this letter off at home. Huh? Where's my key gone? That was your key? Oh! It's in my collection! <laughs> the door swung shut! And the key? It's also in my collection. What a strong lock. Let's try this. Or this? No? Oh, honestly. Oh, dear. Now I have no idea what to collect. <gasps> I know. You can collect whistles. <laughs> yes. And I'll return the keys to our neighbors. Where's the Where are you? I don't know where it is. Oh, get in. Done. Thank you. Thank you. We heard you're collecting whistles now. Look, we brought you one for your collection. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Another six bucks, Tony, and I'll have caught up with you. And good luck to you. When Tina's in, Tony's too. <gasps> 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 <gasps>